Genesis chapter 1, verse 4 through 5. Next, next two verses. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Okay. God saw that the light was good. First he spoke, and now he saw. He first he created, and now he is observing what he has created. You know, first he created, which is the spark of awareness. Now he is observing what was created. And now, through that observation, he is aware of what he created. It was good. But what? Shut the TV. See, I keep doing that. <laughs> this is hilarious to me. Okay. Wow. It's, now I'm more aware of how much more, you know, programming is still around. <laughs> more than I thought. Which is good. You know, I'm growing. I'm grateful for this experience. And God saw that the light was good. Okay. God was able to perceive what it was that was created. And God separated the light from the darkness. Okay. Now I've created something. I take a look at it. It's, it's created more aware. Now that I have observed what I have created, I now can assess, okay, I am aware of this. Now at the very beginning of awareness, ah, now that I understand what I'm aware of, now that I understand being aware of it, now I can identify what is awareness and what is unawareness. I can identify the difference between the two. And now that I can identify it, I can give it a name. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. Ah, okay. So the light I am able to see and perceive and the darkness, the night, I still have yet to become aware of. Things that I still have to identify. Things that I still have to perceive. And there was evening and there was day. Or there, and there was evening and there was morning the first day. <clears throat> oh yeah, so sorry. Uh, through that, understanding the duality and the difference between awareness and unawareness. So, it, you know, awareness and, una and, and unawareness, no matter what you're aware of, whatever, no matter what parts of all of this you're aware of and what parts you're unaware of, it's still all the field of experience. At the very beginning, yeah, there's far more unawareness than there is awareness. But as that light grows, then there's more awareness than there is unawareness. But it's still two halves to one whole. <laughs> Yourself, you know, there's parts that you're aware of, there's parts that you're unaware of. There's parts that sh light is shining upon. There's still, you know, shadows, darkness. But it's still all yourself, all of it, 100%, every single piece of it. It's still you. So the duality of the whole, two sides of the coin, the heads of the tails. No matter which side you're looking at, you're still looking at the coin. So then, and then also at the very end, there was evening and there was morning, the first day. The full cycle. Evening and morning, full cycle. Now, now, after all of this has done, happened, we've come full circle here. Now we're, now we're getting somewhere. We've completed a cycle. Time, evolution of consciousness, we already talked about that. We're, we're around, fully around, back to the same point, but at a higher level. I mean, like, like uh, on the circle, you start here, go in this direction, come all the way back around to here. We're at the same point. But imagine this is like we're up above the circle looking down on it. And so if we come to the side of the circle right here, we will be able to see that it's actually a spiral. You know what I mean? So we went in a full circle, came back around to this point. Now we're looking at it from the side. We're looking at it from above, come all the way around. It looks like you're at the same spot. But if you're looking at it from down here, you can see we're at the same spot, but higher. We're more elevated. 